Bora TV. The world is thinking. There's one last trend which I want to show you guys, and it's possibly our, our kind of favorite trend that we've identified from the last six months, um, and it's post-digital. What do we mean by post-digital? Well, really, this is kind of the idea that people have almost a sort of threshold for the amount of content they want to digest through all these different screens. It used to be, you know, people used to talk about three-screen strategy. With iPads, tablets, it's four-screen strategy now, right? There comes a point where people are almost going to wig out slightly, and they kind of they can't quite deal with it. So we honestly think that the best brands and advertisers now are the ones who make sure that even if their work is really beautifully integrated across all these multiple digital touch points, you know, they make sure that at the middle of all of it is a human truth. It's something tangible and real world that people can kind of grab hold of and that really resonates with them. Okay? And that's post-digital. You know? And there are certain applications that are making this possible. Is anyone here familiar with Sticky Bits? Okay, good. Sticky Bits is kind of awesome, please. If you don't know it, go and check it out. It's a new application for Android and iPhone. It's completely free. The way that Sticky Bits works is it lets you scan any barcode on any product, any consumer product. You scan the barcode with this application. You can then add... Um, a comment, a picture, a web link, a video, any kind of content you want to that specific barcode. So if I scan this barcode with the app, someone who's also scanned this barcode and added a comment saying, I think this water tastes horrible, the other side of the world, you'll be able to read that comment. So what it does, it almost creates user-generated clouds of content around every product. Okay. But more than that, in a way, it almost makes every single product its own media channel which is kind of fascinating, really, and especially for, for, for sort of food brands, because, you know, when people are picking up your products um, in supermarkets, in shops, you know, they can be doing this, and they can be looking at what content people have added to it. It could be positive, it could be negative. Either way, this, you know, puts more pressure on brands to make sure that what they're doing is good, because people have now got these channels in which to communicate with the brand, but most importantly, with other consumers. But, you know, it's a smart bit of tech, but it all boils down to, like, a physical real-world product, so that's post-digital. But there's one campaign which we think really sums this up well, and again, it's not um, food-based, but you'll forgive me for showing you this, because it's kind of awesome anyway. It's called Nike Chalkbot. And this is based on the insight that when the Tour de France happens in, in, uh, in France, they notice people run out early in the morning and write messages of support for their riders on the road, knowing it's going to be on TV. And Nike said, well, this is great, but you know, what happens for people who are the other side of the world? How can they connect with the athletes? So they created something called Chalkbot. The idea being, you send your message of support for your rider. It gets um, via Twitter, via email, via instant message. It gets pinged directly to Chalkbot, which is tied behind um, a truck on that stretch of road the riders are going to ride on that day. It then gets sprayed on the road in Chalk. Chalkbot then takes a picture of your message on the road and it also geotags your message on the road and pings all that information back to you, you know, on the other side of the world. So suddenly you've got your message of support, you know, etched on the road, photoed and geotagged, which you can then share with all your friends. You know, and I say it's clever, it uses all this tech, but at the, at the center of all of it is your one message, your one human truth, which is why we love it.